Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. This is a clean title car. It's got 27,000 miles on it. We can finance it through Cuddle. We can put an extended warranty on it and we welcome trades. Uh, so we took this on trade for a Tacoma. A customer bought this. Uh, I think he bought it from Freeman and just wasn't driving it. Too nice of a car so it was sitting in his garage. He wanted something he could drive on a regular basis and not feel bad about getting dirty so he bought a Tacoma from us. It does show an accident on the, um, the Carfax report and it looks like to us and what he was told and we would probably agree with it was damaged in transport or on the dealer's lot um, before it was actually sold and um, and then Jaguar certified it after that. Uh, so it was sold as a certified unit after the accident shows on the Carfax. We can't find anything wrong with it. If you're uh, familiar with these, they're all aluminum. Basically can't fix them um, without a huge bill. And so um, it is a bummer, but we don't have any concerns about it. He's, uh, he had no issues with the car and we can't find anything wrong with it. It's got wheels lock on, wheel locks on it. These are upgraded wheels. It's a five spoke. I think they're another two grand. Super nice car. I'm not familiar with these um, so much. You can see the extended handle here. Um, it does have, uh, I've got two master keys for it, so it does have keyless go. Um, the car itself is in pristine condition, uh, which you would expect with only 27,000 miles on it. So it kicks out 550 horsepower. It goes zero to 60 in four seconds. It's got a top speed of 186 miles an hour. Uh, you do have a backup camera. It is, I think, the lowest backup camera on any vehicle we've ever seen. Uh, you look out of that and you're looking basically at the ground. Most cameras are up here in the underneath the latch. This does have a power um, rear trunk, which is not common. That is, um, that's an optional uh, piece of equipment. So we do have an indoor car cover. We do have all the original, orig uh, the original equipment uh, for fixing the flat there. And that button closes the... So the uh, wheels and tires are in good shape. The body's in perfect shape. Again, so you have that handle extended to get, uh, get in when you lock it. That recesses into the body. So the lenses are clean. There's a little buff spot here, if you can see that. Just a little discoloration. The front is super clean. So the it sounds incredible. Uh, so there's your trim package. It does have an extended leather package on it. So you have a little more leather than typical. It's got blind spot on it, backup camera. Illuminated door sills is an optional piece of equipment. So we do have two keys. It's the exact same key as uh, Land Rover, except they've got Jaguar down the side there. So I'll start this up. And uh, you do have an exhaust option, uh, similar to the AMG stuff. So push button start here. There's it. So. <laughs> kind of Ferrari-like. I'm gonna close that. Panoramic roof is also an optional piece of equipment. Um, so, uh, passenger side door, clean. You have an embossed R on the uh, the seat. Passenger side seat is clean. Stitch dash, again, part extended leather package here. I'm gonna put these in here. And then you have a media interface here, USB and aux. So, uh, electronic parking brake, exhaust, echo start, uh, rear tailgate, traction control delete, volume control. This is a driving setting, so as you, um, as you change this, so that's dynamic mode, dynamic mode confirmed. You can go up to the top, which puts you in uh, rain and ice snow mode, or mode off. Uh, push button start, power source, do a lot of climate control. You do have heated seats, so if you push this in and rotate it to the right, you have a three-stage heated seat. Uh, auto control here as far as climate goes. So uh, if you're looking at this and familiar with uh, rovers, very similar stuff to a rover. So you have a backup camera, uh, put that into drive. And then your home menu, so uh, setup, 
it's just your standard setting so you have audio your system so it's just standard stuff your back button and then if you go to home uh, audio settings so it does have a super nice stereo system and it's meridian sound uh, it is Dolby, Dolby Digital uh, and I can't I don't remember the um, but same system as they put on rovers basically of course you're gonna see overlap um, you have navigation and then Bluetooth so there's nothing paired here for right now and then um, if you go down here to extra features you have ambient lighting your cameras climate control stealth which turns your lighting into different and then you have dynamic and that's a bunch of um, so if you push this button down uh, which is the trigger here and put it into dynamic you have all these different settings so uh, performance base and again highlighted areas are going to be the changes in the systems and you can go through all it tells you your g-forces and your pedal response and pretty cool stuff I mean I don't know that a lot of people use it but it's always uh, interesting technology paddle shift uh, so you have an upshift on the right a downshift uh, on the left you have a heated steering wheel cruise control uh, Bluetooth and uh, mode control and then your um, onboard computer system so this uh, similar to rovers is going to give you a different display so you can go through and you can change that scroll through it uh, and then that's it so you can see 28,322 miles uh, I'm trying to think of what else um, I think that's about it you'd have home link so three buttons up here security gates and garage door openers uh, the buttons we do have uh, no I don't have books for this just uh, I don't think it came in so you've got blind spot you can see again similar to the Range Rover you've got the icon on the left hand corner of the side view mirror for uh, and that yellow light uh, is an indication the blind spot is working uh, power mirrors windows and locks of course uh, I think everything else is uh, pretty straightforward super nice car uh, I have not um, this is the first uh, R-Type I've driven and it is quick <laughs> so uh, super well-mannered car it's nice it sounds fantastic uh, it's a bummer about the report on the Carfax, but again, uh, there it is. Um, uh, just knowing that Jaguar sold as a certified car. Um, after that, my, or my guess is to the order, maybe the person that ordered it, or or they sold it off the showroom floor. So super clean. If you have questions, would like additional information, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 503-227-2354, and we'd like to thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.